Hello ST traders, Degrees here and today I'm going to show you very quickly how to add custom macros to this open source indicator that I added to TradingView yesterday. So let's jump right in. Once you load your indicator on the chart, you're going to want to click the source code and you're going to be prompted with a lock. To get rid of this, we need to save a new copy and we can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to add custom macros to it and you're good to go so i have added instructions on the code so that you don't need to refer to this video every time but i'm just going to guide you through it once let's go through these steps one by one and add a custom macro from let's do 750 to 810 since it's missing in the original indicator so the first step is going to be to copy these four lines what these four lines are is simply your macro block um, we're going to add our name. Um, I'm going to call it new macro. And I'm going to change the time to 750. This format is in 24 hours to 810. This down here is the text that we're going to display on chart. So let's change that as well. Once this part is done, you can copy this over and create multiple macros of different time frames. Just make sure to change this name and have different names. So if I was to create a new one, I couldn't use the same names because otherwise Mindscape is going to throw you an error. So you can just add a number to it or a different name and everything should be fine. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to leave one. After this is done and you add as many as you want, the only thing you need to do left is go up to line 12 and change the number of macros. It's going to start with eight because that's what the standard indicator is. Only the only thing you need to make sure is that you have the same number of code blocks as this number right here. So I'm just going to add one to nine. Okay, now for part two. Now we're actually going to plot these macros we have the two different modes available so on chart which is going to look like this just like hydra has on his twitter i really like that type of macro plotting and then the second one is our own pane which can be accessed by just moving the indicator to a new pane below and that just shows boxes that can be collapsed and hidden if you double click on the chart all we need to do is very similar to the one above is copy this line and just add it to this. Just make sure it's indented so this is the space and all these are aligned so that Mindscape won't throw your errors. All we need to do now is change these names to the name of our macro above. We call it new macro, so I'm just going to do that. And the same exact thing that we've done up here is going to happen down here as well. Very last step down here, we're going to have to take care of a little bit of memory so that the indicator doesn't take too long to load and it doesn't freak out on us and to do that very similar we just change the name and we're all set all we need to do now is save the indicator and add it to the chart i'm gonna hide the old one now this indicator will show us our macro from 750 to 810 I hope this was clear. If you have any problems, make sure to message me on Twitter at 2Degrees. Good luck and good trading.